a hundred different things here. What's the difference between these two? You got propyl paraben? Got it. You got isobutane 30? I got isobutane 20. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got uh, sorbitan sesquioleate? Got it. I have aloe. You got aloe? I love aloe. Where do they make yours? Jersey. White Plains. <laughs> girls. This girl's right here in the store. Look, 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 there's one over there. Look. There's another one. As soon as I walk outside, there'll be girls out there. What's the matter? I gave her a 20. She only gave me a chance for a 10. Are you sure? Oh, boy, here we go. Excuse me, um, I gave you a $20 bill and you only actually gave me change for a 10. You gave me a 10. I'm positive I gave you a 20. I know what you gave me. You owe me $10. Will you please step aside? Next. All right, oh, oh, all right. Let's, let's just examine the situation for a second. Who in this situation would be more likely to make a mistake? Me, who had access to my wallet, knew exactly what was in there, well, you. You. No, no, no. So you're not really listening. You, what's the problem here? Th no problem. There's no problem. She just owes me $10. That's oh, he's all. he's claiming short. All right, let's just take it outside. Oh, so you don't believe me either? Come on. Let's go. All right. You haven't won. You may think you've won, but you haven't won. Do you know why? It's not over. This is not over. I'm not forgetting what's happening here. You have my $10. I will get it back. <laughs> All right, don't worry, and it's not over. I'm going now. <laughs> Goodbye. I will be back. <laughs> you, you sure you don't need any help? No, not really. I'm sure I'll be here any minute. I want them out of here. I called again. I called. What should I do? We really appreciate this. It's two o'clock in the morning. Oh, you got the Civil War book. I saw some of that show. It was wonderful. 620 million people died. Thousand. Thousand, 620,000. The horror, the horror. The wife keeps giving us dirty looks. Are you sure you gave him the right directions? Yes, yes. You sure there's nothing we can do? No! I am not going to bed with them in our house. This is ridiculous. You know, a friend of my father's used to live right around here. Mike Wichter. He sold plastic straws. You know the ones? You could bend them. Have you noticed people don't use straws as much as they used to for some reason? You know, it doesn't look as if your friend is coming. Oh, he's coming. Maybe you should take a look at a train schedule. It's in. I'm going to bed. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Great party. Hey, how you doing? Ah, look who's here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, I had the directions on the seat right next to me. They, they flew out the window. Then how did you find the place? Well, I knew the exit on the Long Island Expressway, and I thought that the address was 8713 Riviera Drive. <laughs> so I drove around knocking on everybody's doors that had those numbers. 83, 17, 78, 13, 37, 18, 18, 37. <laughs> Finally, I hit it, 81, 73. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, letting us stay here, Steve. I really owe you one. No problem. And if you're ever in the city, you know, you want to come to a comedy club, whatever. Hey, I might take you up on that. Here's my address and number. And really, thanks again. Well, you better zip up. I couldn't get the top on the convertible up. <laughs> but it's cold out. Yeah, <laughs> wait when we get on the expressway. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Thanks anyway. Bye. Nope. Cop says it's my word against his. There's nothing they can do. Let's go get him. Yeah, right. Well, we can't just let him get away with this. Do you realize how crazy he had to be to do something like this? He knew I was going to know that it's missing and that he took it. And of all things to take. I left my watch, tape recorder, stereo. He's crazy. You want to go get him? Well, then if he's crazy, you should just forget it. Forget it? I already called my parents. I told them to expect the surprise of a lifetime. 
My mother's making her roasted potatoes. George, do you realize that Rava has asked me to edit her book? Who is this Rava? I say we get him. <laughs> Let me just call him around. I'll call him. Friend Elaine's friend Jerry, yeah, yeah, the king of comedy, no, right? Uh, listen, you, uh, you know that statue on your mantle, the one with the, the blue lady? Would you shut up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't want to talk about it over the phone. You don't want Rava to hear. Yeah, I understand. You know that coffee shop near my house, Monks? All right, tomorrow, one o'clock. Great. Okay, bye. All right, look, 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 look. Let's say he stole it. Oh, he stole it? Uh, uh, what? You, you can't do anything about it. The cops won't do anything. You, what, are you going to go fight him? Why don't you just forget it? No. <laughs> what you said, one o'clock. Relax, he's late. He's always late. It's part of his M.O. Remember, don't take any crap. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll be right here. That's comforting. She's coming. Ray! Oh, Jerry! <laughs> I can't believe you asked me about that statue. Do you know how much trouble you could have gotten me into? Well, I didn't. Baba was standing right next to me. I never told her where I got the statue. I wonder why. Well, just give it back, and I, I won't say anything. Give it back. Yeah. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What's he talking about? I'm talking about the statue. Yeah, me too. Give it back to whom? Me. Yeah. You. Yeah, me. I'm not getting this. You already got it. <laughs> Ray, I had a statue in my house. Hmm. You were in my house, and then I saw it in your house. What are you saying? What am I saying? Take a wild guess. <laughs> Are you saying I stole your statue? What a mind. Well, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe what I'm hearing. For your information, I got that statue in a pawn shop. Pawn shop? Pawn shop? Yes, in Chinatown with the money I earned cleaning people's apartments. It's cleaning them out. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Look, Ray, you were the only person in my house. What's behind this? It's Rava, isn't it? Again with the Rava. You want her. No, she's a little too cheery for me. She's from Finland, for crying out loud. Finland, do you understand? I know Finland. They're neutral. Wait, 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 is it me? What, do I rub you the wrong way? No, actually, I find you quite charming. A bit verbose at times. Well, I find you so charming, you wuss. <laughs> did you call me a wuss? What did you say? I said lus. I'm at a loss. I would love to take you down to the pawn shop where I got this. That's not necessary. <laughs> you know, maybe it's not that bad an idea. And I would love to. Nothing would please me more, but unfortunately, the guy retired and moved to Singapore. Singapore? Do you hear Well, I mean, if you really want, maybe I can contact the guy in Singapore, have him make a photostat of the receipt and send it over. Oh, that's it. That's it! I can't take it. I can't take it anymore! You stole the statue! You're a thief! You're a liar! George! Who is this? I'm the judge and the jury, pal, and the verdict is guilty! What is going on here? Guilty! My friend is crazy. Oh, I'm crazy! George! I'm a... right. George! Oh, I've got to get going. I have a class. Oh, oh, a class, huh? A class? At Columbia? Let me tell you something, pal. I called the registrar's office. I checked you out. They have no record of a Ray Thomas at that school you liar. Well, that is because I am registered under my full legal name, uh, Raymond Thomas Wojcinski. Ray Thomas is my professional name. You mean alias. You are starting to make me angry. Well, that was bound to happen. 